It was another weekend of alarming violence. There were at least six shootings in Winston-Salem. 11 people are recovering from their injuries. Some of those victims, teenagers. The violence in Winston-Salem comes just a week after a deadly weekend in Greensboro where three people were killed. Greensboro police data shows homicides are up 37% compared to this time last year. Experts have long said we all have to be involved to truly stop violent crime. WFM News 2's Daniel Cruz heard from a local group that has a strong message for neighbors. You take a look at this list of shootings from all across the triad that's going to start to scroll here. What looks like movie credits. These are all shootings just from the last nine days here in the triad. What's even more disturbing is that the shootings either hurt or killed 22 people. Again, some were teenagers. That includes a 16 year old that was killed in Winston Salem on June the 10th. Another bullet grazed a teenager in Reedsville on June the 12th and a 17 year old was wounded in a shooting in Winston Salem on June 17th. Ethan King with Hope Dealers Outreach says curbing the violence starts with accountability and action. Just encourage uh, everyone in their community to wake up and see the stuff for what it is and stop living in a fantasy world and start getting involved. Start paying attention to what your child is doing. Get more involved in their school curricular activities. Get them involved in extracurricular activities. There's so many resources that are out there. Beyond Sports, a local outreach group is partnering with Greensboro and Winston-Salem Police Departments to help curb the violence. Their goal is to help teens get out of trouble and build trust with law enforcement. That gives them the opportunity to, to meet a child, to help them understand what the police are there for, to create a relationship with them that they then see the police as a positive influence. Now, police have not identified suspects in many of those recent shootings. Some of the victims have also not been cooperating with police. Ethan King with Hope Dealers Outreach says more people need to do the right thing. That includes speaking up to police if you know anything that may have happened. 